So to make these adorable uh, personalized gifts for this little girl, you know, I had decided, I asked my granddaughter, I said, what does she like? And she said, cows. So I went into my Creative Fabrica. I have the all access. And so I started in here, which right now they have an amazing deal going on. Their Black Friday uh, has started early. And please see the link below because this is an extremely good deal right now. I strongly suggest if you've been looking at getting a membership that now is the time. Um, anyway, so um, she had said that she wanted a cow. So I put cow in and actually I wanted to do a Highland cow. But her mama said that um, they're dairy farmers. So but anyway, here is Highland cows. And you can see that there are so many images, just absolutely beautiful. But since her mommy wanted dairy cow, I went with this bundle. I put um, cute dairy cow in there. And so I found this bundle. And now as I go through this, you can see that um, some of these images that are created with artificial intelligence, AI, uh, when they come through, they're missing like part of the ear, part of the tail here. So you want to be really careful. Here's a little piece of the ear missing on this one. So you want to go through these really carefully and decide what image you want to use. And I did end up going with this image because only a tiny part of the tail is cut off here and a little bit of the grass. But I figured that's better than any of the other images. I didn't want this one and I didn't want that one. And so what I did then is I went into my Canva account and I created a tumbler. And then this is what went on the blanket and the cow tag uh, key ring. So, um, but I'm going to show you how I did this. So the first thing I'm going to do, and we are going to just design something else. I'm just going to go start in Canva here. And because one of the things that I did is a tumbler, I'm going to start with the size of my tumblers. Now you do have to measure your tumblers to make sure that you get the exact size, but I'm going to go with 9.3 inches by 8.2. Two. And since I used that recently, it comes right up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I am going to actually search for these cute Highland cows because we're going to use one of these instead um, on this one. And so I'm going to download this. And of course, after it's done downloading, I am going to upload it into my Canva account. So I do have the Canva Pro account. So most of these um, things you can do without having the pro account. Some you can, some you can't. So um, we're going to do this. So make sure that you realize that when we're looking at elements, let's see here. Let's go with Highland Cow here in Canva. Um, and you see this crown here. That means it's a pro option. And so you cannot use those designs unless you have the pro account. So, but we are going to be uploading our cow here. So just let me see if that's done downloading here. Okay, here we go. Cute Highland cow. And so what I'm going to do here is I am going to go to upload and I am just going to drag this in on in here if I can. I haven't. I haven't extracted it yet. So let's see if I can just drag this in here. Drop the file. Nope, I have to extract it. So just give me a second here. I'll extract this and then I will bring it in. So once you extract it, you can either drag and drop or you can um, hit the upload and then go to your files here. Here it is. And I'll just bring that in here so that you can see how to do that. So now I'm gonna bring this cute little Highland cow into our design. Now, remember this is the tumbler. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit and I am going to start working with some backgrounds on this. So I am gonna to go to elements here and I am going to search for grass. And I'm just gonna to go to graphics here and I'm gonna find some cute grass to put on the bottom of this tumbler here. I'm going to put it in there 
I'm going to copy this, control C, control V, and I'm also going to flip it just so that it isn't quite the exact same thing going in here and pull that in. And then I'm going to set my little cow right down in here. And then I'm going to go to position and I'm going to bring it forward so that his little paws are covering up the grass here. I got to do that again. Um, make him uh, totally in the front there. Now where I'm going to go to, um, you can also do that in in uh, Creative Fabrica too. So let's go to um, Sky. Oh, let's go to Farm Background and see what comes up here. Um, so then it, a bunch will come up and I usually select graphic here so that it cuts it down a little bit. And you can see that there's all kinds of things that you can bring in. Um, into Creative Fabrica or into Canva as well from Creative Fabrica. But for this to make it quick, I'm just going to search for farm background in Canva. And like I said, a lot of these are going to be pro, but you can bring them in from Creative Fabrica without having a pro account. So let's bring this one in here and um, see what it looks like after we bring it in and make it bigger. Bring it in all the way and see if see how it looks when we send it to the back. You know, it might not be something that I want. Oh, it's kind of cute. So um, we'll we'll leave that for now. But I, I actually don't like it because it blends in a lot with our little cow here. So I'm going to pull that one out and maybe pull this one in here. Try this one instead. Bring it in. Might not need my grassy knoll there because it seems to have its own but he's going to be too big perspective wise, I think on this one. So let's try this here and I can maybe cover up this little building here. Nope, but it, it's cute. You get the gist of it. So now, anyway, I'm going to start bringing in now some text. And so in Canva, you can bring your text in, your text fonts in from Creative Fabrica as well. So let's see here. Um, cow. And then we can go to just fonts here and click on that and see what comes up. The farm font came in. So let's try this one. So all you do is you go in here, you click download. And of course I have to um, extract this. So let's open this up here after it's done. All right, we'll give it a second here. I'll pull this over so you can see it. It's on my second screen. And so of course it's open type font and that's exactly what we want. So now if I open this on my computer and I hit install, it will install it on my computer. But I also, what I wanna do now is I want to extract this um, and then I'm going to bring it into Canva. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So I'm gonna go back to Canva where we're working on our new design here, right here. And I'm going to go to add a text box and up here where it says Canvas Sand, I'm gonna click on that because we're gonna change that. We're gonna upload the font that I just brought in. So I'm gonna go to my downloads here and here's that font. You just click on it, open it. And it says, can we download this? Yes, we can because I have a Creative Fabrica All Access. And so that gives you the rights to use the font. And I got to remember what it's called, the farm font. Okay, so now let's find that font uploaded. Farm, these are all fonts that I've uploaded from Creative Fabrica. So it's going to either be farm font or the farm font. So I got to find it here. S. Here it is, the farm regular, there we go. So now what we can do, it's a cute font, so we'll use that one. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So now let's get this centered here a little bit and let's put a name in here. My name is Cindy, so we'll just use that one. So now let's make this bigger and then we'll play with it. That's really a cute font, actually. It's very cute. So I'm gonna center this a little bit uh, there we go. See the, see the magenta lines come in there to help you center. So now we're going to do is we're going to go into color here 
And we are going to look at all the different colors that it picked up from our images. So it picked up all the colors from the grass that we brought in. It's bringing in all the colors from the background. And it's bringing in um, colors from our cow, our cow design. I kind of like this one. So we can change the font to anything that you want. And you can see that it matches really, really well. So now what I want to do, uh, maybe I'll go with this one. And now I want, I'm going to go up to effect here while this is still highlighted. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to put an outline on here. Let's see what other color is. Um, see what this one looks like. That's cute too, but I, I really like the one that it suggested here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little thinner because I don't want that. I want that a little just to be a little bit highlighted there. So now you can see how easy it is to personalize um, a tumbler. And we could add a million other things on here, but this is just to show you how to do it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this page right up here with the plus sign, duplicate. And now I'm gonna remove the background because for the key ring and for the, um, for the blanket, I don't want that on there. I don't want the grass on there either. So I'm gonna remove this. And so I'm gonna move this up. And as you can see, there's a couple little hearts in there, I see, which I'm going to go and I am going to edit this. I'm gonna highlight the cow here and I'm gonna to go to um, edit right here at the top. And I'm going to go to the Magic Eraser. Now this, you do have to have a Canva Pro account to use these. Background Remover, Magic Eraser, et cetera. And I'm going to go to the Magic Eraser because I want to get rid of this little heart right here. And there's a little one here. On this part for going on the blanket and the key ring, I don't want that on there because they're going to be so small. So actually all you do is you hover over, you can make your brush size bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do here. And wherever you touch it on the um, on, on the PNG here, it's going to remove that where these purple marks are. And so now I'm going to hit erase. And it's going to erase those pieces that I have erased here with the magic eraser. So let's give it a second here. And we will see. Now I'm going to go back to the design. And now you can see that we have the name with our little cow here. I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. And let's see. going to center now a little bit better here. There. Maybe tip the name a little bit here and pull it in. I don't want it on the horns, so maybe like something like this, maybe. So then what you're going to do now is we, excuse me, I'm going to zoom in on this just to look. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, zoom in so that we can see exactly what, how close it is here. So I can raise it up a little bit there. And now I'll go back down so that you can see it again. So here's the two designs. So now I'm going to maybe tilt this one a little bit too. Well, just because I did that on the other one, just make it the same here. And now what you do is you should go to share and you're going to download. And because I have Canva Pro, I can raise the DPI up all the way. And you're going to want to make sure you have a transparent background. If you don't have a transparent background, you can't do this without having Canva Pro. So if you don't have a transparent background, you don't need it for the upper image, but just be careful with the lower design here because I don't think it brought any color in. Uh, it shouldn't, but you never know. So, um, all right, let's go back here again. I lost everything that I was doing there. So I'm gonna raise the DPI and I'm gonna hit transparent background. And now I'm gonna download this, better name it first. I'll name it Cindy here. Uh, just so that we can find it in my files. Uh, download, again, raise the DPI, transparent background. I'm saving it as a PNG. You, there are many options that you can save as, but I want it as a PNG, download, and here we go. So now after this is done, I will extract it. And then I will show you how I print my designs. The first thing you're going to want to do too is the blanks that you're going to be using, you want to measure them. And so that way, when we go in to um, extract all here, get that out. 
So now I've opened a Word document here and I went into layout and I want to make sure that my size is eight and a half by 11 and my orientation, I moved it to landscape just so that you can see it here. And then my margins, I have some presets set to zero. So I have my margins set to zero. So now I'm going to go and insert our first picture here. So I'll bring this one in and this is the tumbler. So as you can see here under picture format, when it's highlighted, you can see that it came in at 8.2 by 9.3. And this icon here is the layout options. And I wanna to go to wrap and through so that I can move it around on the page here because when it prints, I like to make sure that everything is on the page completely. So I am going to leave that there, but I'm gonna go back to picture format here and I'm just gonna click up one. I'm gonna to go to 8.3 and 9.41, just because I don't like my the back seam to be that tight. I'd rather overlap a little bit than have a white space on my tumbler. So now the other one, we will go to file and we'll do a new one here. So I'm gonna to go to layout again, and I'm gonna to go to orientation just so you can see it, margin zero. And again, this is an eight and a half by 11. So now I am going to insert the next image here. So that will be number two here, insert. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do the wrap and through. Now I'm going to make this as big as possible for the blanket. So I'm going to make it as big as I can fit it on this page. So I did the wrap and through here again, wrap and through. So now I'm going to stretch this out and get it as big as I can. I'm actually going to maybe flip this. Here, get this back here. Uh, got it stuck on there. Oh, here. I am actually going to move this and flip it upside down just because I think I will have an easier time of stretching this out. So I'm going to stretch it as big as I can get it here on the page. So about that big. So now our design is bigger on this one and that's going to go on the blanket so that I have a bigger area covered. So now I'm going to uh, control C, control V. I'm going to duplicate this one, but this time I am going to sh uh, shrink this one down because that little key ring is tiny. And so I'm gonna make a tiny little image here. And as you can see, it came, now that I shrunk it down, it's 1.72 by 1.95. And that is pretty close to what I want for that uh, key ring. I'll flip it back this way so that you can see it. And so now, again, you highlight it under picture format, it tells you the size here. So I'm gonna switch this one to 1.75 and then it'll automatically, um, oops, 1.75, not 7.75. And then it brings that in to just the right size that I want for that key ring. So now all you would do is you print these with sublimation ink because these are, I'm using sublimation printer. I'll show you how to do that here. So you go to print and I'm using my Epson EcoTank 2760. And it, because that is the printer that I have converted over to sublimation printing by adding sublimation ink. So under printer properties, I want to make sure I have premium presentation paper mat selected and high quality. Under more options, you want to make sure you mirror your image or the, my name will be backwards. And you want to make sure you have high speed or bi-directional turned off. And under image options, this is just a preference of mine. I like to emphasize more and emphasize thin lines and then we're ready to print this. Now I am not going to print this because I don't need another tumbler or a blanket but let's go to our other our design here the tumbler. Same thing file print and so I like to do this ahead everywhere that is inside of this black line is going to be printed. So you can see that there is nothing cut off on there. So it is perfect. So again, just double check your printer properties, make sure everything is correct in the mirror, you're gonna be mirroring and then it's ready to print. So then what I did on these is I pressed 
my tumbler. I used I used an air fryer for this. So four minutes, 385 degrees. I use a shrink sleeve. I, I'll put a link below for how I use my air fryer. So that is how I did my tumbler. And for the blanket and the um, key ring. So the key ring is MDF, which is medium density fiberboard. And so it is wood. So I press that for 60 seconds at 385 degrees with firm pressure. And for the cow blanket, uh, it is 100% polyester blanket. I did that at 385 degrees for 30 seconds. And I'll have links below for doing items like that as well so that you can see the full details. Well, thank you for watching my video. And like I said, see links for things that I've used and other videos that I have done to show you how to press these. And have a great day.